the Guinness Handicap Chase is next, and this is two and a half miles this time. And it's a 0 to 140 handicap. The top one is Access Prospector for Craig Allen, who's also got Setonia Demure, Park Roller for Alex Cherry, Blackmore Instrument, Martin Leedham, All Guns Firing for Vinnie Gerard, Moreland Overseer, David Robertson, Tigris of Gaul, Joshua Sutherland, Rhea Coronis, Alex Cherry, Cordes Obo, Vinnie Gerard, Bella Bertolini, Ryan Costello, Annie Walker, Thomas Rogers, Formation, Daniel French, Transfixed Worry, James Shea. Pure Force, Craig Beckwith, Sunset Boulevard, Paul Rhodes and Paul O'Neill has got the bottom two. Sam Barina Elliott and Arjard Ships. So 17 this time in another decent sized field. They're called in and away they go. And it's going to be the first to show. Looks like Pure Force is going to take them along maybe from all guns far as they get to the first. And they are all safely over that first one. And it's all guns far and the green jacket has been driven into the lead. They've got 12 more fences to take 13 in all in this two and a half mile chase and all guns far and leads by about a neck as they come into this ditch oh he's gone he's gone and tigris of gore has gone as well so the leader all guns far and crashed out and tigris of gore from the joshua sutherland stable has gone as well so two out early on and pure force has been left with a four length lead then from cordes obo in second then Transfix Warrior and Rear Coronas with Sunset Boulevard and Park Roller as they make their way up the straight. You can see the stand in the distance to take the third. And they're also from there with that one or two slower jumps towards the back. Annie Walker is currently the back marker. My pure force is the leader. And you can see the stand is some way away from the action. And pure force is the leader by about three lengths. The Transfix Warrior in second, then Access Prospector is third. Moreland Overseer is fourth. They're still spread right across the track as they race past the winning post and they've got another circuit to go. And pure Force is in the lead by a couple of lengths to Transfix Warrior in second. Access Prospector third. Then Cordes Oboe and then Park Roller as they take the fourth. They're also going over the fourth one moving nicely around the outside is Arjard Ships. Was getting a bit closer. Moreland Overseer is also to the fore there and Sunset Boulevard is in that leading group as well. The Blue Jacket on the outside formation is the one who's just about widest of all but they're down to the fifth and they all skip over the fifth nice with pure force still the leader then by about four lengths to Cordes Oboe in second Arjard Ships has now moved through into third then comes Transfix Warrior Moorland Overseer Access Prospectors in that little group as well Park Roller and Rear Coronas as well as they take the sixth which they're all safely over and Sam Barina Elliott didn't jump that all that well and is now the back marker but pure force is clear in the lead out of this ditch and oh mistake and a fall a fall on there transfix worry made a mistake and the jockey couldn't recover so transfix worry has gone at that one and pure force is in the lead but look at this formation come around the outside moving through smoothly into second place then and it's pure force still the leader then formation is moving to second cordes oboe moreland overseer and arjard ships in a line access prospector just behind them wide on the track rear coronas and sunset boulevard then Setonia demure getting a bit closer as they take the next one blackmore instrument is the new back marker but it's pure force in front then from formation second moreland overseer third arjard ships four then cordes oboe and sunset boulevard and access prospector park roller and Setonia demure are also still there as well as they come to the ninth and over that one we've got a change in the lead and this formation just takes it up from pure force battling back on the inside wants to lead though that one as they race down towards the next turn and pure force will lead over the 10th and over that one they all go and they're all safely over it and they've just got three more fences to take and they've still got six furlongs to race and it's pure force who's back in the lead by a length to formation in second gap to Arjard ships in third sunset boulevard going well in fourth Cordes oboe still looks to be going well going around the outside rear coronas is making a forward move and bringing access prospector with him as well as stable companion park roller also tucked in there is moreland overseer and they race towards this third last and now he nearly went there the leader pure force took a bit of a chance with it he's lost the lead and they're beginning to bunch up top then their formation still in the lead pure force is trying to battle but they race down towards the second last fence and his formation and pure force is the final ditch of second last and over that one right over on the far side of the track rear coronas landed in the lead it's rear coronas who's gone on then from formation and park force then comes park roller then comes to Tony and Demure, a couple of these wide on the track and lose a bit of ground as they swing towards home this rear Coronas in the lead, rear Coronas now being pressed again by Formation, Formation's got the rail, Formation's got the lead by about a neck 
his formation to rear Coronas, then pure force, really wide on the track axis, Prospect is trying to get into it, caught his elbow, is still there as well, they race down towards his final fence, and over it they go, formation lands in the lead, rear Coronas now throwing down a big challenge on the outside, right over on the far side, to Tony the more access, Prospect are trying to get into it, but it's still formation, rear Coronas though, is beginning to wear him down, they're racing to the final half, foot on his rear Coronas, is just about going on, rear Coronas by half, and finishing really fast, is Satonia de Mule, it's rear Coronas, just got a hold on from Satonia de Mule, formation, and then pure force, more and overseer was after that one and the field will trail back to San Barina Elliott and Rhea Coronas took that really between the final two fences and burst into the lead formation battled on and Satonia Demule ran on well as well so Rhea Coronas takes it for Alex Cherry Satonia Demule for Craig Allen was second formation for Daniel French was third Pure Force for Craig Beckliffe was fourth, and Moreland Overseer for David Robertson was fifth. And the next race is going to be a debut in the commentary box on the National Hunt side of things for Ryan Costello.